In the previous two videos, we learned how to create an API route that can handle both GET and POST requests. The next step is to understand how to handle patch and delete requests. A patch or delete request, though, is slightly different in the sense that you need to specify the ID of the comment you're updating or deleting. While slash API slash comments route will handle both GET and POST requests, for a patch or delete request, our API endpoint will be slash API slash comments slash comment ID, where comment ID is a dynamic segment. It can be one, two, three, or any valid comment ID from our comments array. So in this video, let's see how to create a dynamic API route, which will return a single comment based on the comment ID. We will then use our learnings from this video to handle patch and delete requests in the next two videos. All right, so we need to create an API route that handles slash API slash comments slash comment ID. Let me tell you that dynamic API routes work similar to dynamic page routes. Within the routes folder, within the comments folder, we create a new folder comment ID wrapped in square brackets. Within the folder, we create a plus server.js file. Within the file, we define a get handler function. From within this function, we need to return a single comment whose ID matches the comment ID route parameter. Let's first import the comments array at the top. Copy and paste it. Next, we need to get hold of the route parameter. For that, let's specify the request event as argument. And from this event, we destructure params. From params, we destructure comment ID, which is the folder name. Using this comment ID, we can now find the individual comment. Once we have the comment, we respond with that in JSON format. So import JSON from Swellkit and then return JSON passing in comment. Now I will switch over to Thunder Client where we are making the GET request. To the URL, I'm going to append slash one where one is the comment ID. If I hit send, you can see the status is 200 OK and the comment with ID is equal to one is returned. Change to slash two and we get back the second comment. Similarly, slash three, we get back the third comment and slash four, we get back the new comment we have added in the previous video. So based on the comment ID we pass in the URL, we get back the appropriate comment. We have only four comments to work with here, but in a practical application, you're probably going to have thousands of rows in your database. The logic to fetch the individual record though remains the same. All right, now that we have a good understanding of how to create dynamic routes, in the next video, let's see how to handle a patch request to update an individual comment. Please do leave a like if you're enjoying the videos and I'll see you in the next one.